Alright, so I have all the stuff I need, I think at least. So, let's go back to the Blasius. Uh, one iteration of Newton. Let's do that. Okay, x1 is equal to x0. Let's look at what Newton's iteration does. Minus, okay, uh, minus the, what, what did I call it? dg dx x0 eta backslash does everybody know back what backslash does uh, g of x0 eta all right let's try that uh, of course i'm going to get an error so uh line 17 yeah uh duh, 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 duh. what Matrix dimension must agree. Uh, divide. Should I just uh, do that instead? Oh, yeah, close the parentheses. Yeah. Parentheses. Oh, no. Is it just uh, doing that? Let me try again. Mm, so d eta is a scalar. The, 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 the matrix dimension must be. Really. Okay. So let's actually put a breakpoint here and do that. F is fine. D eta. Oh, what? I must have passed in the wrong thing. So, okay. Uh, D eta shouldn't be. Uh, oh, instead oh. of eta, I passed in. Instead of D eta, I passed in eta. Sorry. I'm gonna quit debugging. Uh, I'm gonna remove the breakpoint. And I'm gonna try again. JF, I think that's a legitimate uh, JFP, right? So this is JFP and uh, this is JFPP, right? So I was going over things too fast. Let's try again. That seems to work, uh, right? That seems to have worked. Let's see, I already got an X1 right so let's uh, see what x1 is and uh, in order to extract the solution let's go to my let's go to one of the code and uh, I'm just gonna copy this I'm going to use this to extract the solution uh, and let's see if I do get a better approximation x1 so let me just do x. Okay, I'm gonna plot uh, fp eta. Hmm. So you see, it's no longer a. Uh, it's no longer a straight line over here, right? So it seems to be flattening out, and that seems to indicate my two is too small. Okay, suggestions. Let's make it bigger. Ten. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Just the press and control enter. Let's do that. It's running. Okay, let's plot it again. Whoa. So I get a overshoot over here and let's run it further. Let's put it into a Newton iteration loop. So x is equal to x0 and for i goes from 1 to 8, let's say. I'm going to say x equal to x minus this. And this right that's a proper Newton iteration it's very easy to modify from one iteration to next so I'm going to run in eight Newton iterations and uh, once it's finished let's plot uh, I think it's still running all right this is the blasi solution I get and let's look at the residual so norm of uh, norm of g x right oh and uh, 
the eta, can do minus 13. So we have converged to uh, the Blasius solution.